two, three, four, five. Hey bros, today we've got the Nerf and Strike Icon Series Spectre Rev 5 Blaster. This blaster was originally released in 2013. It was an Instrike Elite gun and I believe the blaster was blue. Even though it was discontinued, it has been brought back for Nerf's Icon Series where they release old blasters again. And I think they usually put them in this yellow configuration. The front of the box shows that you can use it in six different configurations and it comes with 10 darts. The back of the box shows you some features and another Icon Series blaster, the Longshot CS6. Okay, so let's open it. All right, so in the packaging, you get the blaster, you get a folding stock, you get a barrel extension, you get 10 darts, which are basically in strike elite style darts, but they're yellow and black and they say icon series on them and you get the instructions. So let's talk about this blaster. By itself, it's basically a pistol. Right here you have a tactical rail. In the front you have a barrel attachment point. In the back you have a stock attachment point. Here is your trigger. You have a five round cylinder here and here you have a priming slide or handle. And when you prime it, the cylinder rotates. Right here you have a sling attachment point. Right here you have a button and when you press it, you can push out the cylinder to reload. And then you just push it back in. The blasters that have cylinders, I like it how you can push the button and pop it out to reload. I just think it's easier to reload this way. To put the barrel extension on, you just make sure it's on the grooves, push it on and turn it. And to put the stock attachment point on, you just slide it on a point like that. And guys, this is a folding stock, so you can do this as well. And I was hoping that it would have something to hold it closed, but it doesn't seem like there is anything to keep it closed or that it would attach to. Anyways, you can run it like that. When you do open it all the way, it kind of has something that it sticks to, so it stays all the way. Unfortunately, you cannot change the length of the stock. So let's go through the configurations. One, two, three, four, five, and six. The configuration that I think looks the coolest is this way. And it probably does pretty well too like that. I don't know if you can slam fire it or not. Maybe, we'll have to, we'll have to test that out. And I think my second favorite configuration would just be a pistol by itself. All right, bros, to use this blaster, you push the button and get the cylinder out. Load it up. Push it back in. Prime it like this. Aim and fire. So let's see if this will slam fire. Nope, it will not. Well, that's good to know. That actually almost messed up my dart there. So don't attempt slam fire, guys. All right, so next let's go ahead and chrono this thing. 68. 68.7, 68.1, 67.7, 67.4, 71.2. So the low was 67.4, the high was 71.2, and the average was 68.6 almost 70 and I think that's about what your Instrike Elite power is. All right, so let's go ahead and field test this blaster. All right guys, I'm gonna be accuracy testing with this blaster as a rifle and a pistol.
So this blast were pretty interesting. I think it's cool that you can use it as a rifle or a pistol, but the rifle is just not very good, in my opinion. I bet you could get really good with the rifle, like aiming like this, but I can just aim way better when you use it as a pistol. I don't know why. It's just easier. I think this is pretty cool too. All right, bros, now I'm gonna test the range of this blaster by shooting at that garage that's about 60 feet away. All right, bros, now I'm gonna test the long distance accuracy of this blaster by shooting at Jackson that's about 40 feet away. All right, bros, before I give you my final thoughts, I wanna let you know that you can lock the stock in place. There's a little sign here, and I think on the inside here that tells you about it. Basically, once you get it into the position that you want, which is open or close, you push it in like that, and that locks it into place. And then you've gotta pull it back out to move it. And then again, if you want it here, you're gonna to have to push it in like that to keep it locked. So here are my final thoughts. Um, I think the blaster performs best as a pistol. I'm not sure if it's just easier to aim with or maybe the dart bounces around in the barrel extension or something, but it appears that the darts fly straighter without the barrel extension. It looks a lot cooler when you have the barrel extension and the stock on it. So if you're into collecting old blasters or the Nerf Icon series, or if you want this because you like the coolness factor of it, then I recommend it. If you want it for its performance, then you're gonna use it as a pistol, and I would probably recommend getting the Nerf Strong Arm because it's basically the same thing as a pistol, but it comes with a six-cylinder drum instead of a five-cylinder drum. All right, guys, it's shout-out time. The first shout out goes to Brianna the Bird. The next shout out goes to Dominic Abner. The next shout out goes to Mandalorians of Wren, SWBH. The next shout out goes to Peter Mutale. The next shout out goes to Fernando Grieb. The next shout out goes to Dan the Man Productions. The next shout out goes to Sunny Salonga. The next shout out goes to Two of Four Plays. The next shout out goes to Josh Coddell. The next shout out goes to SBSP The Loud House South Park and Lego Ninjago Fanatic 2004. The next shout out goes to Rohan Thompson. The next shout out goes to Hini Wana Colorina 4UYUW. The next shout out goes to Kunu. The next shout out goes to Outdoor Kids. The next shout out goes to Cole Morrison. The next shout out goes to Jaden Doge. The next shout out goes to Chip the Protogen. The next shout out goes to Gabriel's World. The next shout out goes to Summit. The next shout out goes to XD Fire 4 Twitch. The next shout out goes to Just Cole. The next shout out goes to Christian More. The next shout out goes to Kenny Dam. The next shout out goes to Two of Four Plays. The next shout out goes to Matthew4907. The next shout out goes to Gaming Matting. The next shout out goes to Abuomar09. The next shout out goes to Snotty Boy. The next shout out goes to JD Vlogs. 
The next shout out goes to Noob Galaxy 101 Forever Boy. The next shout out goes to Ryder Flips. The next shout out goes to Jaden Flogging 342. The next shout out goes to Tyreek Ricketts. The next shout out goes to Michael Youngies. Hey bros, if you want a shout out, then go to the community tab on our channel and go to the most recent post and type, I want a shout out. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell. Be happy, peace out.